everyone, you're with Lucy from Art Shed Angel and I'm so happy to have you here. Today I'm creating these Russian nesting dolls using watercolour paper, Yupo paper, alcohol inks, all from Couture Creations. So this is a fun project that I first saw with Jolene from Live Art Journaling and Self Development. All those links will be below. All the links to the products I've made will be down in the description. I hope you enjoy it and make sure you subscribe before you go. Let's get started. So today to create these Russian dolls, I'm going to use Yupo paper for this section. Now there is a template that you can download. These parts are all watercolour which I've cut out and the little faces are watercolour as well. So we're going to go step by step through this process and I'm going to do one full doll on um, video so that you can see how it looks but I will show the whole lot at the end. So I'm going to take the biggest one because this one's easier to see and you can see here that this little bit here is created with Yupo paper and I you can use self-adhesive Yupo paper. So one of the first things we have to do is colour the faces. So one of the first things that I'm going to do is colour the faces and for that I'm using the um, peach coloured alcohol ink by Couture Creations with the glitter in it. So this is the glitter accents one. I'm just going to shake it up and I'm going to colour all the faces at once even though I'm not going to do all of them on video. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that. Now this is a really nice flesh colour so I'm just picking it up with my applicator and I'm just colouring it. Now you don't need to re put um, colour on this you can just wet it again and I don't want all the faces to be the same shade so I'm just using some alcohol ink blending solution you can see how far it goes so I'm just using that to colour these faces just a touch more a little bit more blending solution and we've got these lovely soft colored faces now these will also lighten as they dry so if yours look a little bit dark to start off with don't worry and the other f f great thing is that they're all glittery so they're a little bit of fun and you can see here you can get them nice and even by just using this great tool. So I have my faces and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the face on here. Now to draw the face I'm just going to divide the circle in half lightly and I'm going to do an, a large, quite large eyes on these girls and another large eye here okay then I'm going to do big pupils or big irises and there's also the template that you can download that has a little bit more information about this so I've done the eyes little tiny eye, cute eyebrows and I'm also going to do her hair so I'm just gonna have a little bit of a fringe happening there on her and then I'm just a tiniest little nose and then I'm gonna make a nice tiny little mouth now you can do the coloring of this with coloring in pencils so I'm just gonna use my coloring in pencils straight over the top of my alcohol inks that's the beauty of the alcohol inks on watercolor paper so because this is watercolor paper it lets you do whatever you like over the top you can use acrylics you can use all sorts of things over the top so just coloring in her eyes I'm gonna make her cheeks a little bit rosy 
and this is just these are watercolor pencils and I'm just coloring in the lips with my, my first color now I need to now wet that down so that I can do a little bit of blending okay so I'm just using a bit of water on a brush or you could use one of your water brushes to just blend that blend the cheeks and you can see even though I've used alcohol ink behind it still lets the watercolors blend so I'm just doing this her cute little lips and then I'm going to use a permanent pen to draw the outlines. Making sure that I put a nice highlight in her eyes. Just give a little bit of a hint of a nose and those really cute lips and I'm going to give a little bit of a smile to mine so she's got a bit of a smile she's got little eyebrows and that's pretty much my face almost ready to go whoops I'm just gonna give her some pretty eyelashes and Now I've used a dirty brush there that's left her cheek a little bit dark but that's okay because I can go over the top of that with my pencil. So always make sure when you start painting that your brush is clean. Now I'm also going to use my Signo Broad pen to add some white highlights into here so that her eyes have really white highlights. And just a little spot on her cheek and a little highlight in her eye just finishes it off nicely and then I'm just going to use my brown to give her a bit of a fringe so you can do all different expressions you could even use magazine photos for this if you like but there we have our first little face and that's going to go on our doll so that creates the first part of our little picture. Now I have used watercolour paper for this and I'm going to stick Yupo paper over there. So we don't really need to colour all the way down but I'm going to colour this um, background with my alcohol ink pearls. Now I have chosen five colours so I'm going to do them each in a colour. And one I've done Celestial, one Enchanted, one Splendor, one Villainous and one Envy. So I've chosen five different colours that will go nicely together to give them a bit of contrast but still make them really interesting. And I think with this one we're going to use Enchanted. Now you always must shake up your bottles when you're using your alcohol inks. And this is a really pretty color and again I'm going to use my applicator look at how beautiful this is a pearl color and I'm going to use put a bit of alcohol blending solution in it because I am going to do it onto paper and I'm just going to use my applicator and it takes all the pearl and creates a beautiful pearlescent background for my um, doll now I'm actually not going to try to make that really smooth I don't mind the fact that it's a little bit sort of um, patchy because I'm also going to take some of this incandescent glitter and just put some dots here and there on my paper because I love a bit of glitter so I'm just putting some glitter dots of incandescent. Now incandescent is one that is clear but it has a beautiful shine about it. So this is a really lovely one to use. 
Okay, so then you can put this aside to dry while we do the Yupo paper. So there we have her with her little lovely glittery bits on it and her face. So they're very simple to do. If you like, you could even take, I've got here amethyst, and I could even do just a few amethyst spots here and there too, just to make it interesting. So rather than stamping, you could just add some lovely dots and it just makes it interesting. So I've used just amethyst and the pearl to do that. So let's put that aside to dry. So now I have my Yupo paper and I want to make a kind of a wild background with this. And because I've got the pinks, I think I will use the amethyst again. And I'm going to use a little bit darker color. I'm going to use the metallics in the lavender. Again, making sure I shake it up. And I'm going to use some incandescent again. So what I'll do is I'm just going to put a few drops of this on here. And a few drops of this. Now this is a metal alloy one and that's a glitter one. So we should get something really fun happening in. And then I'm going to also use a little tiny bit of my fluoro pink just to give it a bit of difference. So I love using the alcohol inks by Couture Creations and using them separately. So not always using all glitter, not always using all fluoros, but using them in this sort of mixture of um, colours way because they all have a different feature. The metal alloys are just a little bit shiny, but not really very shiny. The, um, your um, fluoros are very matte, and so they give a different result again. And this is just going to give her a lovely pattern for her dress. And a few drops of alcohol blending solution will just help you make this move around. And then I just use a puffer because I actually don't want it to be too dark because I'm going to stamp something on it. So I just moved it around and made a kind of a wild background you can see like that okay now this background is fantastic because you can see that there is some glitter in there and there's some beautiful matte from the fluoros and we've also got a bit of metallic happening in there so it's a very pretty 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 background now i have also cut out some flowers so i've got some little yupo paper flowers that i've cut out there is a template for it and they've got centers. Now I'm going to just take some yellow. Now you could use you do these out of the watercolor pencil and just use pencils to do it. But in this case, I'm going to use some of the bright colors that I have just to color these. Now because pink and purple and orange go so nice together, I'm going to make these this particular flower orange. And I'm just going to put a big dob of orange in the center. And to make it interesting, I'm going to blow it each way. And that way it'll have a little bit of texture to it. You blow some of it off and it ends up with a bit of a painted petal texture. So you can see that. So this is going to, this one is a, um, the orange in the fluoro inks. And I'm just going to put them all away to dry now. And then we can do some stamping and assemble them. They're so, so quick to do. So now I'm going to stamp something onto this little part here. Now I see this as the dress for the little person. So I'm just going to use the new Stays in Place. And it's called Stays in Place Matte Jet Black. Now I'm going to just stamp some of these 
over the background. So have your stamps ready. And this new stays in place ink is terrific for stamping over the top of non-porous surfaces. So the Yupo, it will dry and it will be permanent on this Yupo surface. So I'm just stamping them randomly to create a bit of a pattern to give them a bit more contrast to the pink background of the other girl. So now I just need to let this all dry and I can assemble it. So to assemble this, all we need to do is stick that down and I use some a self-adhesive Yupo, so that was really easy to stick down. So we need to just place the face where we want it to be. Just make sure you've got her nice and straight and this beautiful flower will be the highlight on here. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the back and I'm just going to put that right in the center there. I've just peeled the paint a little bit because it wasn't quite dry, but that's okay. So now to finish it off, I'm going to add some lines and I'm going to go all the way around her face with my pen. just to make it stand out and I'm also go around the flowers and around her outfit just to finish it off and you could just add extra lines so this is a permanent pen that will dry on the Yupo and I'm just going to go around this flower And put some interesting bits into it. So it's up to you here. You can make it as decorative as you like or not decorative if you don't like. So as you can see here we have quite a nice finished image and I'm just going to put a line across here where her skirt is and I tend to put a little bit of edging lines around it just to highlight some sections. It takes a little while for it to dry but there we have our first very pretty very glittery little doll and I'm going to do a speed video of the other ones being done so I hope you stay and watch. So here are the completed nesting dolls. I hope you enjoy making them and give them a go. Remember the links are all in the description. There's a link to a template. Head over to Live Art Journaling and Self Development and see what other things we're doing there. So make sure you subscribe before you go. Thanks a lot. You're with Lucy.